dry out there, Doug. We need some moisture, but there isn't really any in the forecast. Yeah, it, none of the forecast, at least for the next several days. We're just going to get sunnier, drier, and warmer. Sunnier skies on the way today, tomorrow, and as we go into Tuesday. Warming trend begins tomorrow. That means a lot of us in the Wasatch Front will see highs in the mid 80s. And then we got record heat later in the week. We're talking mid 90s by the time that rolls through and then there is a risk of storminess as we go into next weekend so that's what we're hoping as far as showers there are a few showers to our south basically over central utah and the northeastern corner we have that area of low pressure moving through northern arizona we've had a little bit of a stalled front to our south so the two are working together to push the more moisture over the central portion of the state and that will continue so although it will be dry here there may be a few spots we'll see see some very light rain. Wish it was a little more than just very light rain and wish it wasn't any lightning in with that, but there is a potential nonetheless. We're at 55 in Provo right now. Salt Lake City, we're at 57. Windover at 60 degrees. Logan, you're at 43. A cool start to your Sunday. Good morning, Alco. 38 degrees. Yeah, go right back inside, right, where it's warmer, 37, even one degree cooler in Bryce Canyon, almost 60 currently in Moab, mid-60s in Page, and it eh, looks like you're in good company. St. George also checking in with a current temperature of 64, Milford at 51. So your forecast today, we're back in the 80s in Salt Lake City, right at 80. Uh, a little measured down yesterday from that, but uh, we're working our way up. 76 for high in Logan, so a gorgeous day in Cache Valley. Mostly sunny over southwestern Utah, but as I mentioned just a moment ago, the eastern half of Utah's central section could see showers and thunderstorms later in the day. Of course, we got a few sprinkles out there right now, and that may kind of uh, turn a little more uh, widespread as the afternoon, we get into the afternoon at least. 69 for a high in Park City. That's also what we're expecting in Evanston, 76 in Vernal. Now tonight's forecast, clear off towards the west. Ely, you're at 38 tonight. Looks like St. George, you'll see a 63 for a low. And then we're at 42 in Richfield this evening. Showers and thunderstorms, a possibility from, oh, I would say from the Uintas all the way down to Bullfrog and then towards the southeast in Blanding. 52 expected there. Southern Utah, as we look ahead, we got more 90s and the warming trend, yeah, it kicks in. Uh, tomorrow, in fact, we'll see that warming trend take us all the way up to Wednesday. We'll hit 102, so we'll call that very hot. Very hot Thursday, 101 on Friday, and then back in the 90s as we go into next weekend. Northern Utah, warming trend tomorrow, mid-80s, even warmer on Tuesday, upper 80s with lots of sunshine. So we'll see more blue sky, and then we'll see a couple of clouds move in on Wednesday as the heat really starts to build. We'll call Wednesday hot, our first day in the 90s of the year. And then Thursday, record heat, 96 in Salt Lake City. That will break the old record by 2 degrees, which was set back in 1994 on that date. We're still hot on Friday, but there is a chance of some showers and thunderstorms as we go into next weekend.